So because I'm not a certified nutritionist, I can't really give you um, professional <laughs> advice about nutrition, but I can give you some advice to base off of the trial and error that um, I went through with my own body. Emphasis on the error. <laughs> so I have the what not to do's and some helpful guiding advice that will help put you on the path for changing your body if you choose to do so. Starting with misconceptions. To start, I did not know what I was doing when I was first on this journey, like at all. I thought I was taking in enough protein because my food choices were protein rich foods, but no, I was mistaken. I thought I was eating enough, but it turned out that I was super underneath my goal of the amount of protein that I was supposed to be taking in. Because I wasn't consuming enough building blocks, I couldn't build anything in my body and that makes total sense. And don't even get me started on intuitive eating. Ugh. If you're not an expert in nutrition or super solid on the information of nutrition and foods that are going within your body, then eh, you're probably BSing it. There's a good chance you are. And on top of that, you're likely wreaking havoc on the inside of your body. What I can confidently suggest to you though, is that you should try tracking your food. Just give it a try, a full honest week of logging in every single thing you eat, including the condiments that you use. Trust me on that. You'll be surprised, it starts to add up. So this will either confirm what you are not providing for your body, or expose what you are overdoing for your body. And for me, there were so many things that I was either consuming or not consuming that landed me on both ends of the spectrum. It's also so, so, so important to eat for your fitness goals. If you're trying to gain weight, but you're not taking in enough calories, then you're not going to see what you need. And on the other side, if you're trying to lose weight and you're eating too much calories, then you're gonna see a similar issue. You're not gonna see any progress in your body towards your goal. How do you track this? You can go old school and you can use like a pen and paper and just write down everything you're eating and then um, just figure out the calories for everything that you're eating. But we are in the technological age, so you can definitely use an app for this. And the app that I suggest is MyFitnessPal. I used it to track my nutrition and whew, it definitely exposed me <laughs> for sure. This is not like a sponsored thing, by the way. Um, I'm just suggesting it because it actually genuinely helped me and it is free. It really has been helpful in my journey of trying to figure out like the things that my body needed nutrition wise, for sure. In this app, you're able to see the full breakdown of everything that your body needs once you key in some information about yourself. From the bodybuilding macros to the other essential items to track such as sodium, sugar intake, and so on and so forth, this app gives you a well-rounded look into your diet. I think the awesomest part is that you're able to look up foods that you eat at fast food chains. Like you can type in Chipotle and then it'll have Chipotle's menu for you to pull from or McDonald's or um, Starbucks, you know, things like that. It'll have it in its database. This database is a collection of people that have been able to put in the nutrients for different places that they've been to. So you might notice like doubles or triples. As long as you choose the one that's closest to what you're looking for, then that should be it. It also helps if you have like the actual item on hand and like if there's like a nutrition facts label, you can like try to compare it and see which ones are accurate. You can only adjust certain things as needed, but of course the paid version will have way more that you can tinker with. But don't get me wrong, the free version is fantastic. It already does more than what you need to be able to track what you are eating. So specifically I'm talking about gains because that's the journey I'm on. But um, what your body needs for gains, you need to focus on three main things, carbs, fats, and protein intake. 
What I learned was that my carbs were low, my protein was low, and my fats were high. So I found this helpful graphic that will help explain what your body needs in terms of for muscle growth. You gotta eat your bricks to be able to build the home. That makes sense. <laughs> the carbs are the workers and the fats are the tools. And of course the protein is the bricks. For me, this makes it so much more easier to understand. Remember not to overcomplicate this and to keep your focus on these items. When you're trying to build muscle, this is an ideal trio for you to be able to gain muscle. It works the same for if you are smaller and you want to get bigger or if you are bigger and want to get smaller. These three will dictate how your body is going to build muscle. What will help the muscle show is how much fat is on your body. So to lose fat, you have to eat in a calorie deficit. This means you're eating slightly less calories than you are burning. And then the opposite is true where if you are trying to gain muscle, then you need to eat in a calorie surplus. This works best when you're eating whole foods, meaning cutting way back down on processed foods and actual complete real ingredients like vegetables and fruits and all the such. And for some reason there's a misconception that you have to starve yourself to lose fat and that is definitely not the case. That sounds really dangerous and that's just going to hurt your body in the long run anyways. This is where tracking your intake is really helpful because maybe there might be some people out there that are starving themselves accidentally and eating way less calories than they need to when they actually don't need to eat such a low amount of calories to lose weight. So like this video if you found this helpful and you would like more content like this and until next time I will see you.